She got the white top. I want to spend my life with you, man. We got the sunset going down. I just want you now. Welcome to the Productive Study Vlogs. It's me, Christine. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Yeah, I just woke up from a nap, made my lunch, so if I look a little disheveled, that's why. I feel like there's food in my teeth. Um, the goal is to read this book, and like I said in my previous study vlog, I want to read 50 pages per day. It's 600 pages, so I'll probably finish in about a week. Wow. On another note, I think I get into this mood around the transition for spring to summer. I love sad songs during this time and they don't make me sad. Yours, Conan Gray, come on. Oh my goodness, I feel like there's like food in my teeth. Water, thank you. <laughs> Hard Sometimes by Rule, R-U-E-L. <laughs> oh. Also Flowers, but the Anna Maynard cover. <laughs> Hello, so I guess I need to not rant, but just kind of I've had like a mini epiphany moment and I thought to share you need to respect yourself you need to respect yourself, and in a way that is unexpected, which for me is unexpected, for example, I'm reading this book, and I've kind of figured out that reading ten, reading in 10 page increments helps me a lot. So I'll read 10 pages, go do something else. Read 10 pages, go do something else. It leaves me at a point where I'm tired from reading, but I still have that like excitement, that intrigue. And so with that feeling of like, ooh, I wanna read more, I wanna read more, I don't wanna get to the point where I'm reading and then I start resenting the reading that I have to do. And that comes with a lack of respect for yourself, for your plan, for your intentions. And I think it's so important to figure out what works and I've figured out what works and I've chosen to work in the way that I work in a way that I enjoy and that's quite the privilege so I don't want to abuse that. I know we live in this like very overproductive culture and it's honestly why I don't love making like productive study vlogs because it just makes life seem so like the whole image of life seems so off pudding and off balance. In a weird way, it's unrealistic. My bagel um, just popped out of the toast. Right, here we are. Cinnamon raisin bagel with butter. I love butter on my bagels. So that was that. And then this freaking cinnamon raisin bagel. So I like to have a little half bagel with um, some like tuna on top and my fruit for lunch. That's like my very basic standard foundational lunch. And after I finished my bagel, I just felt, I felt inside that like, oh, I want to eat another half of a bagel and put butter on it. Like that's what I want. Then I found myself sitting in my chair, indecisive of like, oh, do I really need that? Do I really, I still have my fruit to eat, maybe once I finish my fruit, this like craving will go away. Also, the fact that I've been working out more, that, that like dumb idea, like those little thoughts that come into your mind that like half a bagel is gonna... I don't want to get too into it just because I know it can be triggering and it's just not a topic that I want to deep dive into but all those just dumb thoughts and not dumb just irrational or um thoughts <laughs> and honestly I'm very thankful for where I am with my relationship with food and with fitness I've gone in and out of fitness my whole life and for reasons that like I fully enjoy it for reasons that I feel like I need to and now I'm I love Pilates I do it every day or like 
multiple times a week and it's so fun for me. I like to think of myself as a very intuitive eater. I let myself eat what I want to eat and I know when I don't want something and I knew that I wanted this freaking bagel but all those negative and gross thoughts of like trying to be like you y'all know what I'm talking about trying to be a girl in society the pressure to be to have beauty or to be beautiful is not one way to live like there's no one way to feel beautiful or to look beautiful and it's just dumb those thoughts that creep up in my head so y'all respect yourself respect your cravings Ugh, it just annoys me because I don't usually struggle with stuff like this but I know that there are so many out, out there that do struggle with this and oh, I just want y'all to know that you're beautiful please be patient with yourself and just respect yourself okay love y'all <laughs> Sundown like some air masses, not the seven's like the gear that the flu. I'm down for the week. Baby girl, like where you at? Baby girl, like I'm free. I be waiting in LAX. I'm on the hillsides. Let my heart in Burbank. Scorch wind, wish I could stay. Cup of disposable, make this shit last longer. Feels probably blurred like oh well. I swear the colors richer on the side. On this side. Alright, so it is the next day. Didn't want to bore y'all with too much reading footage because it's getting a little repetitive. I'm aware. I'm about 120 pages in now. I'm supposed to make a presentation after I read this book and I knew in the back of my head that I should probably take notes as I read, but I just didn't do it. I was just on the reading roll. I was in the mood to read. I wanted to read the book. I was in a weird way interested. I was interested in the book and so I just kept on reading, kept on reading, kept on reading and kept pushing off like sitting down and typing out like little notes, tidbits here and there about the book. And so now I'm 120 pages in and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go through those pages again, you know, briefly to make notes. And I'm just like, kinda self-sabotaged there, kinda did myself dirty. This appears to be a very chatty, productive vlog. Let me know if y'all like that. Um, comment down below, that'd be great. So this is like usually around the time when I would pick up the book again for the evening But this is the first time that I genuinely do not want to read right now I'm a little tired. I just hung out with a friend and yeah I'm just a wee bit tired here I need to read 20 more pages today So I lied. I had 30 more pages to read Not 20 <laughs> I read 10 pages, realized that I was then on 130 pages, and realized that I had 20 more pages to go. I don't think I'm out here trying to read 20 more pages. I'll probably read 10 more, get myself to 140, which isn't ideal, but hey man, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> mm, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired, 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 I'm tired. book update so I am on I don't know how on earth I read this much this morning but I'm on page 231 I honestly do not know how I did that I read all this this morning pretty sure I'm back on track now but I guess I didn't realize this until I looked further ahead question does the epilogue count as part of the book or no if I don't count the epilogue it's 278 pages which so there's the epilogue and then if you flip a few pages there are like these subdivisions 
2003, and then a few pages, and then again, 2013, and then just a few more pages. And then that's what makes the book 318 pages. So let's say we count the epilogue. It's only 281 pages. So in a weird way, my goal today is 250 pages, which I'm 20 pages away, and it's not even that late in the day yet. But... On another note, my goal might be to get to 280, 281, and then finish the main chunk of the book plus the epilogue and then do these random bits tomorrow. Once again, like I said, I quite literally have no idea how I read 40 pages more. Oh no, I do have an idea. It's because I drank some a little extra bit of coffee, not a full whole cup extra, but just a little bit more, and it really got me alive. So today I might up the coffee a little bit and I honestly think I could finish this book. <laughs> Hi, so it is past 10 o'clock and I'm 20 pages away from finishing the book. I can do this. I can read 20 pages tonight. I know I can. I don't have to. I genuinely don't have to, but I really want to.